Hey guys, thanks for watching. So today's go-to recipe is real simple. It's just tuna salad. And uh, I know that you don't need instructions that I make tuna salad, but the reason I made this video is because most people, when they're trying to figure out what kind of keto food uh, is out there, there's things that they can prepare or eat, uh, they usually kind of go blank. And so some of the simplest things uh, don't really come up. And so tuna salad is perfect, okay? It's just as far as macros, you know, with enough uh, uh, mayonnaise and, you know, some vegetables and stuff like that, you, uh, you actually get a really good uh, recipe that's keto friendly and real fast. And so I kind of cheated already. I already cut some of the vegetables. Uh, I got celery, tomatoes, and onions that I cut. Everything else is basically just on a jar, so it makes it easier for them to mix. And so they're gonna do the, do the work. Um, and yeah, let me show you what I have so far. Okay, so I've got some onions right here, and I got some uh, celery and tomatoes to mix it with. I got two cans of tuna. I got some olive oil, lemon, uh, or lemon juice, salt, pepper, and some mayonnaise with some, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, some mustard. Okay, and so in case you didn't know, that's the basic ingredients for vinaigrette. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I know that was real simple, but the point of this video is to show you the different options that you have. As far as the tuna salad, you can replace the tuna with some canned chicken. Uh, you can also do shrimp. Uh, I just did a, a thing for my uh, military unit where I did shrimp. I cooked it with the lemon juice, and then I added some of the similar ingredients, uh, uh, you know, tomato, onion, and cilantro, and that was pretty good. Uh, we ate it with the cheese tortillas. So I used to eat tuna salad with like tostadas, crackers, uh, nachos, even on sandwiches, but obviously that's too high on carbs. So now I like to add celery or cabbage to the tuna salad or chicken salad, and so that gives it some crunch. So that's a real quick way to do that. Also, uh, if you don't have lettuce, you can use pork rinds. So we always have lettuce and pork rinds in the house. So uh, I use pork rinds to kind of replace the crackers and then the uh, lettuce to replace maybe like a tortilla or like a sandwich. And so right here I got the zucchini bowls. Uh, I just dug out the meat part and then put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on high heat, 400 degrees. Uh, and so now I, then I added the uh, tuna in the middle. There's tons of different variations that you, that you can do. So one, you don't get tired of the same recipe. And two, it's really easy to go to because most of the other ingredients are similar, or, or, you know what I mean? So you always have them at the house or, uh, or things like that. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, my daughters didn't want to eat, so now I have to eat all three bowls. That's it for this video. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and then uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.